checked out the upcoming Scandal O from Megacorp and Games, which is a spiritual successor to Awkward Guess. Will we need Awkward Guess for this video? No! Let's talk about Scandal O. <laughs> What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. We're back again for another thought. No, this shit. Oh, hi there, YouTube! We're back again today for another thoughts from the corner. I'm here with my good friends Lucy. Hey! And Adam. Hey. And we're going to be talking about the brand spanking upcoming Scandal O from Mega Corpin Games. This is for, I believe, one to six players. Take uh, about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, 45 to 75 minutes to play. for ages 12 plus. And this is the spiritual successor to the original Awkward Guess, which is a massively popular game that essentially was just Clue on steroids. Yeah. This takes that basic formula, and I want to start off by saying that if you know Awkward Guess, you're going to immediately feel familiar with this game. It takes that brilliant deck system they have, they got the little logo right there, and puts it on crack pretty much, like Ooh, you put yeah. it. Uh, it essentially adds... Some new things to the mix. It adds a lot of complexity to the mix, a lot of brain burning to the mix, but it's it's all essentially you're a paparazzi and you're trying to dig to the bottom of a scandal. And you're going to have, uh, instead of going through a house like the original, you're going to have this just crazy sheet where you're going to be trying to figure out who was talking to whom about what different topics. And you're going to have this little player board which just, it's an insanely large amount of information oh, on yeah. this. And, but the basic premise is the same. On your turn, you're going to ask for information about three separate things. They'll either be people, locations, or newspapers that might be potentially printing this scandalous news. Um, but let's get into more of our thoughts on it, because the actual gameplay itself is, is very similar to Awkward Guess. Yeah. But I think when we start talking about the gameplay, we'll get into some more of the nuances about what's different from this to that. Because I will say right from the jump, and I think we would all agree on this, don't get this before you play Awkward Guess. I think oh, definitely. You, yeah. I think you need to get Awkward Guess first because it's much more of a gateway. It's not a gateway game. It's much. <laughs> it's, it teaches you like a, it's sort of like the basics of like the foundation of what you need to know, like how to do like all the logic and like all the what's it called? There's a different word for it, but essentially how you're supposed to like think during these games. It's just like okay, because of this happened, it's unlikely but not impossible. So you need to make a note of it somewhere, but maybe not too big of a note. And all the little nuances of just like figuring out what you should pay attention for or you're trying to find out. Yeah. yeah. But still the basic premise though, you need to figure out who is the one who is the scandalous person and what they did and which newspaper is going to talk about it. So it still has that basic clue vibe. But let's get into our thoughts about the game because we got a chance to play it twice tonight. We played an easy game and then we bumped it up to a hard difficulty game. And uh, what you, who wants to start? Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It was um, very... Uh, when, I, when I started getting into it, I, I was like, oh, like I understand this and I see... Like, oh, I, I'm being very clever because I figured out this little thing. Oh, yeah. And it's like this, it just feeds your ego. Like, oh, yes, I'm yes. very clever. I, I, you hear the, oh, I can't yeah. now. And it's like, oh, he handed me this card because he thought it was throwaway. But now I know that it's not A or whatever. Yeah. I think the best way to really put this game after you're saying it is, Awkward Guess gives you that feeling, but this just bumps it up because there's so much more going on. There's so many different connections because it's you have to figure out what celebrities doing something, but you also have to figure out who they got certain things for because there's just like there's this huge like it's group of boring. people right here, and it's like oh this person's not connected to this person anymore because I got this card, which means the only way that you were going to be able to get this thing is by going all the way down through here, but I can't do that because they're next here, which means oh my gosh, I can clear off this top thing, and if I clear off this top thing, then that means holy shit, it wasn't the Patriot Daily that posted it, and ever, all the while everyone's like oh god, he's got so much information, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and, and there's these false leads in this one, so yeah. it's like, yeah, oh, I, yeah, it threw me completely off the last time, I was like oh, two out of three? That's good enough. Yeah. I got it. 
Like, I'm going with this, and clearly, right from the get-go, I was off, off, the, off the path. And and that was because me and Lucy buried the information yes. that you wanted. I and so with like, a lot of things. Like, unlike an awkward guest, where, like, you have, like, the... Because, like, this gets rid of the three-point cards. You only have one yes. point and two point. And I will say, with this game, like, an awkward guest, one point feel like one point. It's like, okay, this is, like, the basic info. Like, two points are like, okay, I kind of got it from number one, but number two, like, gives me a little bit extra. This one, even the one-point cards can just, like, completely make your case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and one thing I like that they added here was locations that you could go to. And that was kind of like a potluck, like, oh, I could, I could get information about this, or I could get information about this, and I could get information about this. And overall, I think I like the move from one to two. Uh, going one two instead of one two three. Yeah. Well, and there was also exclusive information that you could only get at those locations. Yeah. Yes, which helped because, like, when you like, like, for example, I was looking for like one of these traits to either confirm or deny, and I'm like, okay, this is why the locations matter because I need to deny this to at least start eliminating stuff, even though I had the chance of getting like a whole potluck of information. It was worth it to go after certain um, aspects that I was looking for. Because it, it's very confusing, and even, like, our first time was, like, kind of, like, with easy, it kind of made things a little hard with this and, like, this getting into it. But as soon as it clicks, it clicks, and then everything, like, this went from making no sense to making ev all the sense. And you feel yeah. really bad when it clicks for everyone else, and you're still like, oh, oh it hasn't clicked here for me. Oh. But when it does click, You'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. it feels so good. Uh, so, I, I feel like it's pretty cut and dry here. I think if you like awkward guests and you want more, this is this is it. This is the mm. next level. I will say this is definitely not like um, beginner game friendly. No. Like I feel like a lot of people are, are awkward guests is going to be their wheelhouse. Like, and this is you know they're going to play it and be like, that was a little too much for me. Yeah, like this, I can see that. Yeah, because it it did like stump me. I'm like, okay, what's going on? And like, if I probably if I hadn't played awkward guests before, I would definitely be frustrated. This is one of, like, Awkward Guess I can bring anywhere, and at least, it's, Awkward Guess is already, like, a hard, um, climb, a little bit. Learning just, like, curve? Like, yeah, learning yeah. curve, that's what it's called. Learning curve. And, like, yeah, sort of, like, get into, like, the whole deductive reasoning, that's the term of it. And, like, getting used to, like, logic is, like, logic. Like, just because it hints towards this doesn't mean it's completely eliminated or completely confirmed. All it's doing is giving you hints. But it still is like the murder mystery kind of like helps that sort of mindset. Yeah. Because I'll be honest, like this, the theme, I mean, I like the art, but the theme kind of does fall away. That's a great point. The theme definitely does feel a little bit more disconnected from this than the last one. And I think, I think it's mostly just the choice to use symbology. They went much more heavily on the symbology. Yes. Whereas before it was like, oh, this is the knife, this is the this is the the bedroom, this is the that. Whereas it's like, oh, like the three people or the the lightning guy or the yeah. Kind of but I mean, when you have sixteen different things, it could be oh yeah. Like, that makes yeah. Right. <laughs> you know. They can't go too deep in the theme because I mean, we're using a lot of paper. Here. Like that's that's right. a lot yeah. going on. And it's not as I was saying, like with the theme, like it doesn't. It's not saying it's tacked on, but it definitely doesn't like it. This isn't like you wouldn't. This I didn't theme. feel like I was playing being a paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. That's you're fair. just you're just trying to find like a different mystery. I'm like a like, if everything I feel like a private detective maybe of just like looking like where they've been. But even that kind of falls away because at this point I just kind of just like put in as like okay this is blue area like reddish area pinkish area is it eliminated good? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that really begs the question about awkward guests. Then do you do you enjoy awkward guests more because the theme comes across more and i don't think i do personally like i don't mind like oh i solved the miss it's more like oh, I want, i'm racing to figure out before everybody else mm. it's the same feeling but i think that because of the theme like the murder mystery theme it clicks faster that you're supposed to use logic and deductive reasoning hmm. this one is more like oh okay you had to find out because even for us like, it took a while to find out like the celebrities versus like people and, like what they can offer and what they can bring it's more i just think the uh, it for new players, it wouldn't. This theme would not help click easier for them. I'm, yeah. I'm making this. Well, it's kind of like awkward sounds. guests. Like he spent a lot of time in the garage. I need to go and check out the garage. Yeah. Where this, it's like there's so many different things. It's like, oh, it, it did he check out K too much or what? Why is he going here or there? It, like I feel like with awkward guests, you can kind of 
infer things from what other people are doing That's much point. more than you can in Scandalope. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I inferred it. I think there was one point where I was like, oh, I think they're on the same track I'm at, but that was completely wrong. Which I think is a good thing, though. I, I think yeah, that's... Yeah. This is definitely more like, I mean, like, this definitely, like, if yeah, Awkward Gus was, like, a whole, like, deductive reasoning, this is, like, on crack. And so, like, there's, like, three things, like, each of these helps, like, the new, um, aspect, like, new, um, new attributes to look for. Like, do, does, like, who knows how, who's the only people who knows how to do curtain stuff? It's them and them? Okay. Does, does, she's the only one with curtain stuff? Does she want to talk to Ike? Nope, that means I cannot do something over here because yeah. that requires a curtain. And it's you're like, like, oh, like there, there's, there's none of, you know, this symbol left. That means all of the ones oh, up here that have the symbol, I can just mark those off. That's the best feeling yeah. when you start crossing stuff <laughs> off. Yes. Or when you see somebody else crossing stuff off, and you're like, stop it, <laughs> All right, end of the day, though. Big question. Would you rather play this? Would you rather play Awkward Guess? It's a Kickstarter video. You don't expect questions like that, do you? That's yeah. why you subscribe. <laughs> All right. I personally would rather play Scandal Low. I, 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 I believe it's... I am going to keep both of them in my collection. Oh, yeah. Because I think there is a definite niche. I think I could teach awkward guests to anyone with a little bit of help. Yeah. I think just that basic clue premise is so simple. Mm -hmm. This, however, as you mentioned, this is a straight-up game night game where I know everyone's going to be at the table because it's also... It's a very... It's one of those games that can be broken a little bit easy. Like, if you put in the wrong card, game could be broken. Mm -hmm. If you draw the wrong cards, game could be broken. No, it, put cards that you aren't using in the box. Yes. <laughs> Fun fact. If you, if you go to the <laughs> clue section at the end, if you're not using the app, and you look at the wrong clue because they put them in a very bizarre order, which, <laughs> Mega Corbin, yeah. we got to have a talk. How about we put the, the hards all in the hard section and the mediums all in the medium section, and we don't just start mixing things all willy-nilly, which hopefully is just a prototype thing but but i i do like this better yes i would like this is a game where i'd have to i can only play with people who i know already know the rules and like already get the vibe and like we probably will be playing this a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. both awkward guests i can probably bring this anywhere and like if i think they'll have fun with it i can probably teach them easily yeah that that's my thing is like yeah i i think that i would rather play awkward guests simply because i could get more people to do it Okay, but let's say you're in a situation where this table's playing Scandalo, this one's playing Awkward Guests, and I point a gun at you for no particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> Which one and I have a gun. <laughs> uh, I'll take the gun, sir. Which one are you playing if it's a full game we're just going to jump in? <laughs> I guess I'd just have to see who was playing and be like, I oh. like these people better. <laughs> All right, let's say that every... Damn it, Adam, why you got to make me go here to the sci-fi realm? All right, we are on a ship. Everyone is cloned. It's the same group here, same group there. Which Wait, you play? Then why am I? Why am I not also cloned in that both tables? Because I shot your other clone. Now pick the damn table you're going to. I can't live without my clone. All right. Well, two of us like Scandalo better. Adam, uh, do, do you do you not? Do you I like play with his clone? I, I I would say they're they're a, given that situation where it's in the same very likely realm, situation, right? Uh, it, it's a crapshoot for me either way. But you you like both? Of them. Yeah, I like them both. Yeah, they're both I would play great either games. one. Yeah, I, it's one of those games where on I'm par. glad that you own it. Okay. For me to buy it, I would have to consider my game group. That's what I will say. If, you're, gonna, if you're going to buy this consider your game group because the one thing that i like i like about us is like we're co we don't mind being like competitive and like like knowledgeable and just like just being kind of just like horrible like mean to each other's mean spirit you're just like yeah. ha you idiot oh there's <laughs> you no offense taken yeah, yeah. So, i will say that's in both games though we screw each yeah. other up in both of them yeah. it's one of those games though like especially with this one like, like you when gave you, me tim again like when you're <laughs> This one, like, if you fall behind, like, some some kind of logic games, like, if you fall behind, it's hard to be motivated to, to try to pick it back up. But here's the thing. I, de I never felt like I was that far behind until, like, the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's so hard to know how other people are doing, because I felt like sometimes you were just totally blowing smoke with how much you knew, <laughs> which adds a whole fun element to the oh, game. Right, right. Either way, I think we all can agree. Scandalo, great game? Great game. Not a good game? Great game? Yeah. Sure, I'm not gonna. It's, it, it might be shirt have been good, but this is this shirt has sentimental value, so I'm not no, gonna know my shirt. No, this, I, bit, bit, bit. this is a fun fact shirt. This, this is how is it pants are. Good? 
<laughs> These pants are... No. All right. But Scandalo from Megacorpin, if you have a, a group that likes to play, I would say, medium to heavier weight games, mm -hmm. and you like deduction, and in particular, if you like the original, absolutely check this one out. Oh, yeah. Scandalo from Megacorpin Games. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check this one out. If you enjoy what we're doing, please click on the subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 9,000 subscribers. Celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, in the comments below, let me know. You can theme this to anything. What would you theme it to? Because we all agree that the Scandal theme, while in th it looks cool in practice, and I, and I pitched this when I was telling them that it was like, it feels like, you know, it looks like that scene from It's Always Sunny where it's like you're connecting the dots. You're like, oh my gosh, can't believe oh, this because yeah. of that. And yeah. you do get that feel from time to time, but I still think the theme itself doesn't come the across theme. as strong. But what theme yeah. would you want? Oh, man. That's a tough one. You know, uh, I started watching the Loki show, and it would be cool if it was like a trans-dimensional thing. Like, mm. you know, one dimension places. to the other and what's happening in the world. That would actually, oof, that'd be amazing. I mean, I'm a sucker for Lovecraft, so just, just put Cthulhu on there and you got me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you go to different worlds? Yeah, it could work. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with my, my safe answer for everything. Alf. Like an Alf version. <laughs> 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 Listen, guys, I want to thank you for your time, YouTube.